Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. I have been hard at work. You guys know that uh, phrase well. Check it out. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Speaking of beautiful, look at my new shiny boots. I am now the highest armor you can get in the game. All heavy armor stuff. I really hope they add different variants of armor because I'd like to look different from everyone else on the server. And as it stands, I look exactly the same as everyone. Um, okay, so in the last episode... We have we caught a few thralls. They are not finished training yet. Uh, they're taking a really really long time. Granted, I am recording this a few maybe four or five hours after uh, after I caught them. The thing is though, there was an update, and then the update shut off the furnaces. Um, so I had to like come over here and turn on the furnaces again. This guy's done the set priest. I mean, no big deal, right? So yeah, I've been uh, I've been creating. I went and fought a couple rhinos. I killed a couple rhinos. Here's some more roasted haunch, and I've been uh, putting the meats and stuff inside here. We're gonna leave these guys here today because we want to bring back as many iron bars as possible. And here's why. Like I said, I've been busy. I researched a couple things. First of all, I'm level 46 now. I have 21 strength, 21 vitality, 21 grit, 16 encumbrance, and I bumped up the accuracy because. I have researched. They made a few changes to the crossbow, and I really want to try it. I researched the crossbow, and I researched razor bolts. So um, that requires 10 branches and 10 steel bars. Kind of expensive, but that's not where the more expensive part comes in. Check this out. I also uh, learned the wall lantern, which I cannot build, I don't think. It says 40 wood, which is fine, but then it says it also requires a hand lantern. <laughs> and hand lanterns, as far as I know... Do not exist in this game yet, unless I missed something. Um, I don't know if I can get a hand lantern, so I can't really build this, but it's unlocked. So maybe when the hand lantern is added, or this recipe is changed, then we can actually um, do it. Maybe it's like this thing. Bracketed torch. No, it doesn't even have an icon. By the way, that font, that's pretty gross. <laughs> uh, I also researched the vault. Now the vault, this is where it gets interesting. So, I need 40 steel bars. That's fine. I need 150 hardened brick. That might be a little bit hard to get because you got to use regular brick and you got to mix it with uh, crumbled brick or something. I don't know, something weird. But I, that can be manage, managed. This, however, steel reinforcements. It can be managed if I had a bunch of steel here because here, because she's a level 3, even a level, level 2 blacksmith, actually, the cost is only one steel bar per reinforcement that is nice if I take her out the cost now jumps to two steel bars per reinforcement so we're basically doubling our cost without a level two or higher blacksmith my blacksmith is not a level two or higher that I can remember I'm pretty sure he's just a level one so we're gonna have to take all these bars in fact let me fill up my inventory and take all these bars home we're gonna turn them into steel ingots and then we're gonna come, yeah, stealing it. And then we're gonna come back and turn them into steel reinforcements so that I can build this vault. And the reason I'm building the vault is because I wanna store my items, which comes to the topic of today's video. Today, I plan on building a little bit of that storage room. It, it, it all depends on what that vault looks like too, because if that vault is, uh, is huge, then we might make that little room that I made something else. There's so many hyenas out here. We might make it something else and put the vault somewhere. Um, and it also depends how much... I don't know what the vault looks like. I don't know how it operates. So we're going to have to build that first, uh, which is going to be quite the adventure. All right, I'm home. Uh, iron has been delivered. I am currently in the process of making hardened brick. I have a ton of steel fire, not just here. I have some more over there, too. Uh, right now, the iron is being smelted into steel bars using some steel fire. Uh, it's, oh man, I wish I had. Does the cook go in here? No, it's like a forager or something or, or something like that. I don't have one of these guys yet. I should have done this up here, up there too, because it probably saves me cost. But that's okay. We can manage. We can manage with this. Um, do I have more? I have more iron on me. So we should probably do that. That makes it 145. We need 150. We've already got four. Yeah, we're going to be okay. It's going to be super tight, but we're going to be okay. I also need to build another cauldron because this cauldron is just not... It's just not doing it for me. It's just not enough. Uh, I'm going to make some more steel fire in here. Uh, speaking of which, i got to get some fuel. So let's make another cauldron, actually. We have it researched here. Where's the cauldron at? Where's the cauldron at? Right there. 
I'm gonna craft one of these cauldrons after my tons and tons of rope is finished. And then I'm gonna start making the stone consolidants, which require ichor or ichor. So a lot of this and a bunch of rope, which I have a lot of as well. So uh, I should be able to make this this thing soon, maybe. It depends how long these things take to make, and it depends how long these things thing, things take to make too. It's it maybe not this episode, but we're gonna we're gonna start work on that. Oh, here's the thing though: how can I work on this if I don't know the size of this vault? I don't know if it's huge. Do we want like walls and walls of chests or do we want like one big vault? I have no idea. I think maybe ugh, we'll see what happens. We're going to put the second cauldron, fireball cauldron right here and make it so that like this guy's like an amateur fireballer. <laughs> so we got one over there, one over here. Uh, now I can start putting this stuff in. I think this is where you make it. Come to think of it, I'm not sure exactly where it is. It's probably here. Let me get some fuel. Yeah, we are not going to have enough. That's all my ichor. <laughs> Icor. Um, and we're only making 38. And we need uh, how many of this uh, vault? 150 hardened brick. And I don't even know how many of those each hardened brick takes. So we're definitely not going to be able to do it today. Um, but we'll, we'll gather the materials and I'll get it done by the next episode. And I think I am going to make this uh, storage room. If the vault turns out to be something good, I mean, this stuff is all, always destructible, you know? Uh, however, I don't like the way this was set up. I th I'm thinking maybe, I'm thinking maybe, let's dismantle this. Let's dismantle the shelf. I wish you got the shelf back. Dismantle that, dismantle that, and dismantle this. I think what I want to do is have the sign underneath. Did I research signs again? I don't think I did. Learn recipes. Uh, where are they at? Maybe, maybe it's part of something else, and I already researched it. It's nighttime. I can't really work on my uh, my storage room during the night. So let's try this uh, crossbow, shall we? And how much? Seven steel. Oh, this. Yeah, my level three carpenter. He saves me three steel bars and three sticks each. Uh, so let's do. Let's just do one. Uh, what do we have here? Thirteen. Oh, we're one short. Okay, let's just leave. Yeah, seven in there because that's a stack of this, and let's put seven of these. Okay, so he's making it, and then we'll make some razor bolts, steel bars, seven branches. Uh, I can't. That's weird. Huh. There was seven in there, right? Or was there six? Am I going crazy? Oh, because, yeah, because this uses sticks too. Okay, that makes sense. So as soon as that's done, we could probably get rid of this thing if we like it. I don't know, the Hurricanian bow. Uh, let's put the bow in my weapons and arm or weapons and tools box. Ooh, it's getting a little bit full. Maybe we'll put it in here. Does this guy have a box? There's not even a box inside here. I should have put a box in here. Uh, let's just put it right here. Okay. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, is this thing done yet? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Crossbow. Let's see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No ammo, so I can't really do it. It should come with sample ammo. Oh, that was quick. There we go. Uh, let's try 10... I'm going to try to load it up like this. Huh. Interesting. Whoa, that scared me a little bit. Let's go shoot some thralls in the face. It's just getting to be morning, and there's always thralls right over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see you guys. That's an armorer, too. There's always an armorer there, but he's always level 1, which is unfortunate. If he was level 2, I'd be so happy. Here, let's just make sure. Yeah, level 1. That hit him, right? Does he automatically reload? He does. That's two shots. This works better than the bow for me. There, three shots! Oh, wait. He's an armorer, though. Armorers never uh, really take as much as every, everything else. Okay. Let's go this way now. That's the second one, I think, on him. And I hit her once. That was not even a headshot. I'm wasting all my bolts, though. The bolts are kind of expensive with the steel, but uh, they seem to be 
pretty good. That hit her. Obviously, I should be doing this from a distance. Okay, she's dead, and I'm out of ammo. That's not bad. That's not bad. I, I think I like this. I should have tried it at a, a greater distance, though, to see how it was. Oh, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take it. I don't need it anymore. Now I need bolts, not arrows. Right about mm, there. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I figured two sh two of these small uh, chests would probably be, probably be good for all this stuff. So the signs are above. The chests are not on the ground because I think that looks unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the chests are up top. Is that all the chests I made? I need to make more chests. Chests are super expensive, man. 100 wood and 14 twine? The twine is way more annoying than the wood. But anyway, yeah, I think that would work nicely. Uh, so now I just gotta go and, re and place all the chests on the bottom, and then put the shelves above them, and then put all the chests on top. It's gonna be quite the adventure. There's been a fortunate turn of events. So, the... Icker and the rope then the twine actually makes it's oh wait stop um it says that it makes like 10 or some or one but it probably makes like 10 or something so i might be able to do this after all right after i get my my storage room done but you know what we'll still find a place for this uh, vault maybe we'll keep all the all the valuable stuff in the vault and all like the building supplies in the storage room here we go. Look at that. That's really cool, right? Uh, in the middle, I want to put like a table and some chairs around it and maybe decorate this still a little bit. These are just like placeholders. I'm not obviously going to have two chests <laughs> filled with twine. I could put something like twine. Actually, could I do something like twine, coal? Yeah, we could do something like that too. So the top one is twine, bottom one is coal. Pretty cool. Um, I will have enough stone consolidants to make the uh the hardened brick but man are they gonna take a long time to make two look at oh no stop doing ah okay wait 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 we have to like we have to do one thing at a time here let's let's get rid of these i'm gonna put these in the other furnace Ugh, such a mess right now okay so take these out so we have the two th these are the stone consol they look like little army caps uh anyway so now it should only create those, and now let's make the, the iron into steel using steel fire in this furnace. Might as well make use of both furnaces. I don't have any uh, fuel for it though, but let's take that out. Put all this iron in here, and we're going to make that into steel. I just got to um, get some fuel, which I think I have 37 of here. I even have extra stone consolidants. Can you believe it? Now I'm set for other um, stuff. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Wait, how much steel fire is it going to take? So that will create 94. If we put more steel fire in there, will we get more? 127. And I think that's probably the limit because it takes... Was it 5 iron? Still 127. Okay. Okay. 127 plus the 170 we have we will have enough to build this vault. It's just gonna take a little while This video has Probably taken me the longest out of any video I've ever made on Conan Exiles and only because it takes forever to get these things To turn into uh, steel reinforcements. Anyway, I have the The heck is that noise? That was really weird. Anyway, I have the um, the uh, required steel reinforcements. I have all the required materials to build the vault, and that's what we're gonna do. I really want to see what's happening here. What is happening here? Why are why am I <clears throat> hearing these noises? Oh, there's a little little uh, uh, the thing here, <laughs> a uh, temple, whatever these are. What are these things called? A shrine. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so I came up here. I turned all my steel bars into steel reinforcements, or at least 125 of them. Um, I also have a gift, obviously, for the clan. My archers... By the way, these signs were put up in use by Beefy Juice Spice. What? <laughs> uh, these signs were put up, and it's genius. Now, anytime we come over here, because there's so many of us, anytime we... Oh, there's somebody in the bed. Who is this? Scrapman. I wasn't looking at his name. 
Um, anytime we come into the foundry, uh, we could just put our names on these signs and uh, make sure nobody messes with our stuff. In fact, there should be signs here too. I think I'm going to do that. Um, not today though, because I'm sort of in a hurry to get this this vault built. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take this cook back with us. Right there. That's Stygian, Stygian cook, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I think maybe, oh, I can't carry any more people, can I? Let's see what the tanner, oh yeah, puts it at 115. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in here for now, just a store. And the, uh, Stygian fighter, the archer. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, oh man, still? <laughs> let's place the archer here, just so that we're contributing to the tribe. There's no archers up here. Should there be archers up here? You know what? We're missing one right here. So it says performer, but it's not a performer. She's an archer. So let's do that. There we go. Now we got an archer on that side. And then I'm going to get this fighter. In case anybody ever does break in. At least there's a couple dudes inside that can wreck some face. I always do that. I don't think I can put it. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Never mind. I'm just talking to myself at this point. Which is basically my job. Every day. All day. Uh, <laughs> and then we'll put this guy right here. Too close to another thrall. Okay, there. Done. Now there's two level 3 fighters inside here, so that's good, I guess. I don't think the other ones are worth placing. A tanner. A f another fighter. Oh. I don't know whose this is, but if it was in my... I don't remember getting two level 3 fighters. I could have. Hmm. I did it again. I put it in my inventory first, then into my hotbar. Uh, we have another fighter. Well, I'm going to place this guy too, and we'll place him over here, or her, I guess, over here. Uh, yeah, right here. Ooh, right there is good. Okay, so that's like, this dude is like on top of, she doesn't even have a weapon. She's freaking out. What is going on? Uh, her boots. Look at the boots. <laughs> uh. There it is. Me, 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 me. That's so dumb. Um, I don't think it's worth it to uh, to place any other ones. The Tanner. No, I think I'll leave the other ones here. I might come back for the priest or the Tanner. I don't know. I don't need either one of these, honestly. But anyway, I do need this coal. That's why I got it. I got 88% encumbrance. What I will do is I will head back now, I will make this vault, and then I'm going to be disappointed that the vault is huge and won't fit in my storage room. That's exactly what's going to happen. Finally back home, and it's time to make this vault. I have all the things necessary in my inventory. I picked up a few lingering essences along the way. So here we go. We got 40, 150, 125, craft. Oh, and it's going to craft pretty quickly. I thought I was going to have to wait here for a while. That's good. Um... I'm really, really anxious. It looks really big in the in the thumbnail. Okay, so... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This thing is mass... Oh man, okay. Um, oh, and I still can't... I can't... I'm carrying too much. 111. Can I put it in here? It's a good thing. I'm near this box. Um, wow, that is a... Where the heck am I going to put... I need a whole new platform for my vault. That's okay, though. By the way, you guys haven't seen the uh, the storage room complete. It's complete. I just had to put up the signs for specific items. But look at it. It's pretty good. I even got a little bit of a little bit of ale right here. A little bit of pot. A little bit of pot. <laughs> a little pot beside it. Uh, we got a couple candles on the table. A bowl. It's looking really, really good. I got this entryway carpet, which kind of sucks when you're placing it on these wedge... Uh, shaped ceiling pieces because the wood sticks through them. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but that's okay. Uh, actually, it sticks through any ceiling piece. Um, it looks good on foundations, but I couldn't use foundations here. So there's that. But look at it. It looks really good. I even got a little candle right here. I might even put a couple more candles along the side. I really love this room. Um, the only thing is now I need a place for this vault. Where the heck am I going to put this? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Will it fit in here? 
Uh, how do I get down there again? Right, I'm the one who built this, I should know. Will it fit in here? Oh man, if it fits in here, I'll be so happy. <clears throat> I won't even worry. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I don't have it in my inventory. Let's place this cook while we're here. Level 3 cook. It's pretty good. All right, dude. Welcome to the family. You got a little friend right here. You got a friend right here. Another oh, level 1 cook. Uh, you're, you're expendable. <laughs> but I got a level 3 cook. Hopefully he uh, he helps with like the brimstone recipe and stuff. I wish it said what they did, because especially the cooks, because you don't really see a difference. Like, if you're crafting a recipe and stuff, then you see a difference. But uh, with the cooks, you see nothing. That weighs a lot. It weighs 20. It's 22% of my inventory. I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, let's go down into here. It's probably going to be too tall for this place. No, not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh. I can actually place it. it. Oh goodness, I can place it, but it would look. I'm sure it would like stick out the top. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Could we maybe? I don't know where I could even put it. To be honest with you guys, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna put it inside my base. I'm gonna have to expand my base outwards, but I don't know if I have to actually build. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have to actually build something for it, or if it, like, stands on its own. I wish you could place it and change it up afterwards. Okay, how about, like, right off to the side here? Okay, it's massive. Not aligned enough with the ground. It is huge. Holy. We're going to have to come up with a plan for this vault. It's cool, though. Look at it. Oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I gotta make a platform for it somewhere, and then we'll put the vault on the platform. I just don't know exactly where. I guess the next logical place to expand is over this way. Uh, I don't want to get too close to my neighbor, though. Like, I feel like I'm encroaching on his territory. I could put something here. Hmm. I could make a platform right here. Or even, like, will it fit in this little nook? Hmm. I mean, it'll fit. <laughs> Holy, this thing is huge. Okay. Um, I think maybe what we'll do... Goodness, I guess... Oh, I can, like, place it... Is this thing working properly? I can place it in the middle of the ocean like this? Like, can I lower it into the water? I sure can, but it won't place. It'll place like this. That's really weird. That's strange. Um, I'm gonna have to... Maybe I'll save it until I move? I don't know. You know what? Leave your suggestions in the uh, comments. What should I do? Should I place the vault somewhere around this base? I love this base. I don't think I'm gonna move from this base anytime soon. So we might hold on, on to the vault. Oh, you know what would, would have been a perfect place for it? Hold on, this might still, this, nope, sorry, door. This might still work. Right here, where this house was. Oh man, okay, so how wide is it? Can I? Can I see? Okay, I can't. This is really hard. Holy crap. <laughs> this thing is so big. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, I think. Ah, if this wheel wasn't in the way, I could, I could see. I think it would still be too big. And plus, I don't really want to, like, put it out in the open. I think I want to build something special for it. Like, I don't know, like a big platform with, like, columns and I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I want to build something special for it. So, we're going to have to pass on placing it today. But leave your suggestions in the comments. I'll take a look around here at where I can expand. I think the best candidate is right beside... Probably on this side. I don't want to build it too... Like, I don't want... Ah, oh man. I don't want to, like, mess with my neighbor's territory, though, you know? And we'd even have a nice, decent... Uh, I can move that tannery a little bit over. Well, rebuild it a little bit over, because you can't pick it up once you put it down. And then I could put a little doorway through here. Or I could wait until I build my next base using better materials out there somewhere. What do you guys think? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.